Hi, it's Altaïe. So today I'll show you how to make a live set on Ableton to play things like that. So we're gonna set three array touch and play with clips to automate our live. Here I want to customize a layout. So first I reset to the factory layout on the gear sign menu. Then I want to edit the layout 7 which is the jump pad element. So I select the layout 7 and pull the layout. Now I can enable the preview mode. So I will delete the two jump pads on the side. Instead of that I'll add some faders. Here I will only use one axis, but remember that you can use pressure even on faders. So I'll choose another color, then duplicate it by holding Option key and drag and drop it. Now that I have my four faders, I'll choose for each of them a different CC. Here I'll start to 20 for the first fader and go up from there, so 20, 21, 22 and 23. If you're not using hardware, you can pretty much choose any CC. But to prevent unwanted assignation, you can find the MIDI CC list of your gear online. Now I'll add a button there to map the record button. So now let's go to my session. On the first track, I have a piano from Ableton. On the second one, I use Labs from Spitfire. It's a great free plugin, and I use the Spizzicato ensemble here. As a third instrument, I choose a flute from Swam by Audio Modeling. If you want to know how to use Swam instrument with the array touch, we have a dedicated video that you can find on the top right corner of the video. And lastly, I use the basic drum kit of Ableton. I just put a filter on it to get rid of the harsh high end and make it smoother. Now, to make sure that none of my array on different elements interfere with each other, I can select the insert source and if necessary, the channel number. Here I have three array. Each one has a classic MIDI port and a MPE port. So on the first one, I have two elements. So I have to use channel to be able to play different instruments from those two different keyboards. To see what channel uses this keyboard, I select the element. I long press the bass clef. Now we can see that the keyboard on the top is on channel three. Now let's do the same thing with the button one. This one is on channel 2. For the flute, I use MPE. It's not really necessary with Swam, but I can directly choose the MPE part of this array touch so I don't have to worry about the channels. And finally, the drums. I select this array as the input source. I can even choose the channel number. And actually, that's not really necessary because that's the only instrument that is played by this array. Now I can disable the ARM exclusive mode that allows me to arm multiple tracks at the same time. Now I want to map my four faders to the level on my four instrument. I don't have to go through the MIDI mapping menu. I can tap directly on the fader. And lastly, I want to map both the live and session recording button to the little button I put on my array. That way I can start loop recording while recording the whole track in my session with only one button. Okay, so now I want to automate my clips. That way I can play instrument one after the other and be sure that they loop when I want without having to worry about it. I will create them in the order of appearance in the track. First I want to record the piano and string pizzicato part. I want them to be 8 bits long, so I click on times 2 to increase its length. When it's done, I can duplicate it to the strings by dragging and dropping it while holding the Option or Alt key. I'll do the same for the flute. So I copy the same clip, but this time I will enable follow action, which by default goes to next. That means when this clip ends, it doesn't loop and goes to the next one. The flute loop will be 16 bits long. So I will follow this logic and I'll do the same thing for drums. I copy the precedent one. They're empty, but they allow me to respect the sequence of instrument. I use follow action to go to the next clip until the instrument is looped. So let's see again what we can do with that.
Thank you very much for your attention. Don't forget to like, comment if you have any question, and subscribe to stay tuned to our latest news and updates. See you in the next one.